All right, yet another follow-up video. Uh, I want to talk specifically about gaming. Uh, someone brought up the point of people being blamed and, and uh, video games basically being the culprit here. Violence in the media and violence in video games. How in the world can we let our sweet, innocent children play Call of Duty and then uh, you know wonder why they go out and shoot their schools up? Uh, I actually think I had this conversation uh, just uh, about an hour ago with my friend on the phone and we we're talking about uh, video games and stuff and how we both agreed 100% that if anything video games keep kids from being violent in real life. We all have stress when you're 9 years old or 40 years old. We all have things in our life that we don't like and it causes us stress, right? So we need to relieve tension. We need to relieve stress. There's many ways of doing that. For a lot of kids, um, it's video games. I don't think a kid playing uh, shoot 'em up games all night long is going to create a monster or a killer. I think, however, it is a way for that kid to get rid of his stress. So perhaps he doesn't do something really bad in real life. Uh, and I use the example: I used to love playing uh, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, I used to love be able to be, you know, driving real slow in traffic, and then for no reason, you know, swerve out of traffic, run over a hooker, get out and kick her in the face. It's not because I really want to do that in real life. It's just because it's fun to play in a video game. We let out all this stress and tension and all this weirdness and negativity and evil in video games and in watching movies and in the media. It's not creating bad people. If anything, it's relieving stress. Of course, it's just my opinion. Some people will differ. But I don't think that, that uh, most kids anyway would play a video game and then want to act those horrible things out in real life. I actually think it's the opposite. I think they have some pretty terrible thoughts they want to do in real life and playing a video game may may be able to get that fantasy out in a fantasy world where they're not really hurting anyone. So let me know what you think about this. Let me know your comments. People will definitely be on the fence half and half. Some people will say video games are bad. Specifically, I mean, we're not talking about Pong or Pac-Man. I mean, you know, the video games now are very realistic. Uh, and some could be very violent, but I happen to think that it relieves tension and stress for both children and adult. Of course, there's lots of adults out there that play these games just as much as kids. And, you know, in some cases, even more adults than kids. But um, I don't think that they're, of course, the cause of any kind of violence at all. Uh, I think they're actually helpful tools. So you may disagree. If you do, I'd love to have a respectful conversation with you. So let me know what you think. I'm always interested in your, your honest opinions, whether you disagree with me or not. So post them down below, and I will respond. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.